Hey, welcome back. Hope you had a great Labor Day weekend. You were safe this weekend. It's time to get back to it, stirring it up. Ian Lede, Chef John Foles. Absolutely. And a very expensive tuna. Woo, we yep. love tuna, yellowfin tuna, y'all. We're doing it with fruit salsa today, and our tuna season is in. It's a summer, summer dish. Yellowfin, also known as ahi, right? Ahi right. tuna. I did not know that. The largest tuna ever caught in uh, 2020. 22, I guess. Yeah. Wait, wait, 2022. 612 pounds. 612 pounds sold for $3.1 million. When what? I was in, uh, when I was working in Japan doing a restaurant over there, we used to go to the tuna market and we'd have to go in. It was all top secret. You'd have to walk in. It, it flag you at the door and you could go go in because they didn't want anybody to know the price of the tuna in Japan. Oh my you know? heavens, that's amazing. All right, y'all, so I've got a little oil going in. Look how beautiful that tuna is right there. And I'm gonna just, in just a little bit, but we want it nice and hot. So go ahead and get it on in there, John. Uh, and we did uh, garlic mm -hmm. and salt yeah. and pepper, some granulated well, what, garlic. What are you putting together over here, Chef? So while you guys are searing that off, I'm gonna go ahead and make the fruit salsa. We have some oranges, strawberries, grapes, peaches, and, blueberries. And kind of all of your favorites too, y'all. You can add whatever you want into whatever it. Whatever you want. Whatever's in season, whatever's fresh. Did you see the smoke coming out? I see that smoke coming out of the skillet? The skillet's talking to you, it's saying, I'm ready, I'm ready to go. Mm. Now, once we put the tuna in, we won't be moving it around. We want it to sit on that hot, iron down there and just kind of uh, uh, brown nicely because we want the inside of the tuna to be medium rare at mm -hmm. best. Most people like it rare. Rare, absolutely. Uh, now what are you doing with uh, your So I've also put some onions, a little bit of jalapeno for some spice, um, a little bit of sugar just to kind of balance it out, and just a little bit of cane syrup that we make here at bit, White Oak. A little bit my, my good olive oil. You know, when Genevieve's here, she does not let me use the, uh, you know, the power tools, but I am very, very capable, very small Ian, woman. if you want me to use the oyster uh, blender. Would you like to use very the blender? Because we're going to blend some of this up to make a sauce Absolutely. for it as well. I, I'd be glad to. Yeah, well, we'll call you when we, we're ready, okay? Okay, y'all, uh, you see how fast that tuna, look, look at this. Don't overcook my tuna. Uh, keep, the, keep the middle of it rare. He's making the salsa. Yeah. We'll be right back. Okay? All right, that, that's looking pretty good at night. Oh, yes. And uh, Johnny, you see what I'm doing here? Perfectly cooked. Look, you see how the tuna wow. is nice and cooked on the outside. You want to leave that inside uh, right here. Salsa's already made. Salsa's made. Y'all, that's what it's going to look like when it's all said and done and put back on that plate. Just absolutely beautiful. You never want to overcook your tuna. You want to get it in, hit it in that hot skillet, mm. sear it on each side for a minute, and while it's searing, Hurry up and blend it quickly, get that salsa going, and that's what it's going to look like right okay, there. Okay, so what has the word frog in it that doesn't have a frog in it? Thursday show, don't miss it. Oh. We'll be right here. Um,